Assalamu alaikum and good morning to each and everyone, especially to you, ma'am. So, for our today's report, we are going to discuss about the famous personalities of arts and their work. So, most of people do feel a connection when looking at art, right? But not all art, of course, but the art that particularly appeals to them personally. So, art is the job of living, feeling, and processing her unique experiences and then finding a way to express that to others. So, the viewers may not get the same feeling that the art is meant to express, but that is okay and one of the fun things about art is that how different people interpret it differently so that's an art and that's nice so getting back to our main topic which is the famous personalities of arts and their work so according to our research there are 14 famous artists in the fields of art since then so the first one is leonardo da vinci so leonardo da vinci or leonardo di serpiero da vinci born on april 15 1452 in anciano italy so he was an italian polymath of the high renaissance so Polymath means having learned much or homo universalis or universal human. So, he was an individual that has spun knowledge on a substantial number of subjects known to draw on a complex bodies of knowledge to solve specific problems. So, Leonardo da Vinci was an active painter, draftsman, engineer, scientist, theorist, sculptor, and an architect. So, he has almost everything but... His fame initially rested on his achievement as a painter, so he also became known for his notebooks in which he made drawings and notes on a variety of subjects including anatomy, astronomy, botany, cartography, painting, and paleontology. So he was a total genius renaissance humanist and his collective works composed a contribution to later generations of artists matched only by that of his younger contemporary which is Michelangelo so Leonardo is one of the greatest painters in the histories of art and is often credited as the founder of the high renaissance despite of having many lost works and less than 25 attribute major works including numerous unfinished works so he creates some of the most influential painting in western art like the Mona Lisa so Mona Lisa painting is one of Leonardo's best work and often regarded as the world's most famous painting in Western art. Also, The Last Supper is one of his most reproduced religious painting of all time, and his Beethoven man drawing is also regarded as a cultural icon. So, in 2017, one of his works, which is the Salvatore Mundi, attributed in whole or part to him, was sold at auction for 450.3 million US dollars, which setting a new record for the most expensive painting ever sold at public auction. So that was Leonardo's profile and his works and his contributions to the fields of art. So next is Vincent van Gogh. So Vincent van Gogh or Vincent William van Gogh was born on March 30, 1853 in Over Sorus in France. So he was a Dutch post-impressionist painter who posthumously became one of the most famous and influential figures in Western art history. So in a decade, he created about 2,100 artworks including around 860 oil paintings and most of which date from the last two years of his life. So so they include landscapes, still lifes, portraits, and self-portraits, and are characterized by bold colors and dramatic impulsive and expressive brushworks that contributed to the foundations of modern art. But the sad part of this is Vincent was not commercially successful during his life and struggling with severe depression and poverty that leads to him to commit suicide at the age of 37. So Van Gogh did not sell during his lifetime, which he was just considered as a madman and a failure. So his fame came Came only after his death when he revolved in the public imagination into a misunderstood genius so his reputation grew in the early 20th century as elements of his style came to be incorporated by the Forbes and German expressionists so one of his famous artwork that we know already is the starry night with an oil on canvas type painting which he painted in 1889 so today Van Gogh's works are among the world's most expensive painting to have ever sold and his legacy is honored by a museum with his name itself which name is a Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam 
which holds the world's largest collection of his paintings and drawings. So, like what I said, his fame came only after when he died. So, he didn't even enjoy being praised by his works when he's still alive. So, that was the saddest part. But anyway, that was Vincent van Gogh and his contributions to the fields of art. Okay, so, next is Michelangelo. So, Michelangelo or Michelangelo di Ludovico Buonarroti Simoni. So, I don't know what's the correct pronunciation of his name, but that is his full name. So, Michelangelo di Lodovico Buonarroti Simoni was born on March 6, 1475 in Capri in Republic of Florence. So, he was known simply as Michelangelo. So, he was an Italian sculptor, painter, architect and poet of the higher nation so his work had a major influence on the development of western art particularly in relation to the renaissance nations of humanisms and naturalisms so michelangelo is one of the best documented artists of the 16th century and several scholars have described him as the most accomplished artist of his era so one of his notable work are the moses 1513 to 1515 that is now housed in the church of san pietro in vincoli in rome okay so next is claudie monet so claudie monet or oscar claudie monet is a french painter who was born on november 14 1840 in paris france so he was the founder of impressionist painting who is seen as a key of precursor to modernism, especially in his attempts to paint nature as he perceived it. So one of his best known work is the paintings of water lilies in his garden itself in Giverny that occupied him continuously for the last 20 years of his life. So he was frequently exhibited and successful during his lifetime and his fame and popularity soared in the second half of the 10th century when he became one of the world's most famous painter and a source of inspiration for burgeoning groups of artists okay so next is frida kahlo so frida kahlo or magdalena carmen frida kahlo y calderon was born on july 6 1907 in coyoacan mexico city and mexico so Frida Kahlo was a Mexican painter known for her many portraits and works inspired by the nature and artifacts of Mexico. So, her paintings often had strong autobiographical elements and mixed realism with fantasy. So, she is known for painting about her experience of chronic pain and she has been described as a surrealist or magical realist. So, one of her paintings that make her the first Mexican artist to be featured in their collection is her work which is the frame. So, it is a self-portrait itself in 1938, so Kahlo participated in exhibitions in Mexico and United States and worked as an art teacher at the Escuela Nacional de Pintura, Escultura y Grabado, or La Esmeralda, or in his English name is National School of Painting, Sculpture, and Printmaking. So it was a Mexican art school founded in 1927 that also located in Mexico City. So that was the five in the 14 famous artists in the field of arts and their work. So I just discussed the five of them and the remaining nine will discuss by your fellow classmate which are Aisa Wafalalaog and Nohaimin Cusin. So that's all for my part. Shukran and Wasalam.